We will now connect the GOT with the PLC. As long as the GOT and a Mitsubishi Electric PLC are directly connected in a peer-to-peer -peer configuration, you do not need to configure any complex communication settings. Make sure the power to both the GOT and PLC are turned off before starting this procedure. After you have checked that the power is turned off, connect the GOT to the PLC with an Ethernet cable. Connect the cable to the Ethernet port in the GOT located at the rear of the device. Connect it to the Ethernet port in the PLC located at the front of the device. Turn on the power to the GOT and PLC. Now we will write a sequence program created in the GXWorks 3 PLC engineering software to the PLC. Let's see how the created screen appears and functions on an actual GOT. Touching the run switch turns on the running lamp and causes a value of 6,666 to appear in the data1 field. Touching the stop switch turns off the running lamp and causes a value of 3,333 to appear in the data1 field. As you can see, the screen functioned in the same manner as the screen introduced in Chapter 1 of this training. The combination of GOTs and PLC programs enables you to implement various kinds of controls. Continue to explore and learn about the other kinds of controls and functions available.